What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to pick up where we left off a couple videos ago with the cinnamon colored interior swap by finally swapping my passenger side door panels. Now unfortunately during that previous video I was only able to get the driver side door panels installed as I ran into a few hiccups that I wasn't really anticipating and it took me quite a bit longer to install those door panels than I originally planned for. So today what we're going to do is take what we learned from that video and apply it to today and dive a little deeper into exactly how that process goes so that way if you run into the same issues hopefully this video can help save you some time and some headaches so if that's something you're interested in let's hop into it so I'm not really gonna go over how to swap your front door panel in your F10 I already did that pretty much in the last video there's just a couple T27 screws and then the door panel clips to the door once you have it off, swap the speaker over from your old door panel to your new one if the new one already doesn't have it, and then reinstall. It's not a big deal. What I want to get into in today's video is the exact process I took to be able to take my non-speakered option rear cinnamon door panels and convert them basically to have a speaker option. And the reason being is because if you're anything like me and you're a pretty big DIYer, I really enjoy when people create videos on really specific like niche car DIYs. Um, that's because most of the time if you are kind of taking on a project for the first time or it's pretty specific like this one is and you have no idea where to start then it could be kind of daunting of a task to try to do. You're kind of just figuring out on the fly like I did in the last video. But I figured I'd dedicate this video to the exact process and tools and cost of everything to be able to do this retrofit. So that way if you stumble across this video and you have an F10 and you're in a similar situation where you come up on different colored door panels and they happen to not have the speaker option like mine did, you could be able to convert them with a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, but not very complicated process. So. With that, let's hop into tearing out my rear door panel and start tearing it apart. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when you're taking off your rear door panel on your F10 is you gotta take off this little sunshade mechanism for this little side window right here. Cause otherwise it's in the way down here to be able to pull your door panel up and off of the door. So it's only held on by some clips on the back side. I wouldn't even really call them clips, more like tabs that just kind of snap into like a, uh, a groove back here but you'll pry them off from this side and then just pull the assembly off but be really careful because on this side there's a really thin piece of plastic where the cutout is for this shade and if you don't do it right you can snap that plastic and then it's just kind of loose over here so I'm gonna pop this out and then we'll get into the next thing you have to do to take your door panel off all right so this is the assembly off of the car it sits in there like this but when you have it off, this is what I was talking about. That right there is the little thin piece of plastic that you can risk breaking if you don't take it off carefully. If you look over here, there's not a cutout. But over here, after you pry it off from this side, you want to be careful how you snap it out from this side so you don't accidentally break that piece. But it just clips on, like you can see. There's just these little tabs that clip into over here. So I pried them off from this side first, and then once I had the, the piece leaned like this, then I carefully popped it out and came out without breaking anything. Sweet. All right, so the next step you're gonna wanna do is to take off this trim piece right here. There's a screw underneath here that you gotta take off before you start popping the clips out of the door panel. Unlike the front door panel though, there is not a screw underneath this trim piece. This trim piece just snaps in and snaps off. It's very simple. I just got in over here with my trim removal tool, snapped it out a little bit, and then very carefully pried each little clip off until I got the piece off. But pretty easy. We're gonna take that trim piece off right here and then take the screw out. I believe it's a T27, just like the front ones. And then when we have that out, we could start unclipping the door panel from around here, from around the edges and then remove it and I'll get back to you guys after that. So the black door panel is officially out of the car but before we start tearing things apart I actually wanted to go over just really quick a pretty huge mistake I made in the last video when swapping these door panels over that was pointed out to me by a person in the comments. So let me flip the camera around and show you what I'm talking about real quick. 
So unfortunately, I made a pretty huge mistake and made it so that door no longer has the rear sunshade that you guys saw in the previous B-roll clips. The reason being is because while I was making that last video, um, and it being my first video that I tried filming something, my brain just kind of scattered and I made the mistake of removing this plastic piece that allows for this rear sunshade to be bolted to the door in hopes of gluing it on to the other door panel. And obviously hindsight is 2020. I have no clue why I went that route. I'm not sure why I didn't just do what the person in the comment mentioned to me about literally leaving everything on this door except removing this black insert, removing that cinnamon insert from that door, stripping the leather, and then installing it onto this insert, which is exactly what I did in the last video. The only difference is for some reason, I kept this door panel, which does not have the ability to have the sunshade bolted to it, and now have the other door panel out and unusable. And the reason why I can't just install it again is because, like I said, I unglued this plastic piece that this bolts to. It's all bent up, and I ended up throwing it in the trash. But I just figured I'd let you guys know the huge mistake I made and now I'm on the hunt for another door panel to be able to remedy what I did. I still have the assembly down here that is the rear sunshade assembly right there. So um, hopefully you don't make the same mistake I do. Hopefully you know that makes a lot of sense what I'm telling you and why you shouldn't bother trying to unstick that piece. It's literally not worth it. It took me 45 minutes and I completely ruined the piece. So anyways Let's start diving into tearing these door panels apart. Alrighty, so here we have the black leather insert removed from the original door panel. I already went ahead and took it out. But I'm gonna show you guys the easiest method I found for removing the little plastic rivets on the side. You can kind of see them there. But you have to remove all those plastic rivets right here all those right there. There's like 30 of them to be able to take that panel out from the back side of the um, door panel. And the easiest way I found to do it is to just get a drill with a drill bit that's just a little bit bigger than the hole. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's just a little bit bigger. And then drill it gently, almost applying no pressure until you just get the rivet off itself. And then, you just do that for all of them. And once all of those little plastic rivets are out, you'll be able to push the panel through the door. Um, or sorry, push this panel through the, uh, the main door panel piece. Just be careful when you do it. You don't want to remove these um, plastic rivets. I don't know if you can see those, but those hold on the little tray inside of the door. You just want to get these ones down here that hold on the little elbow rest and then all of these around here that hold the actual panel with the leather insert on. Also, a note right here. I don't know if you can see that right there, right there, and right here and right here are these screws. And what and those screws hold onto the the door handle right there. And you have to take those out before you remove this panel. So just be sure to take those out. There's two T27s and two T20s. Once you get them out, you'll pop out this this window switch and then pull that panel out and then remove all these plastic rivets and then the panel piece will push through the door, the main door panel. So all of the pieces from both of the door panels are finally taken out. Um, and I can show you guys what the main difference is and why we're doing this swap right here. So this little cutout right here is what allows for the room for the speaker to sit on the back. And if you look on this one, obviously it doesn't have that cutout. So no speaker could fit back here. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be stripping this piece of the black leather stripping this piece of the cinnamon leather 
and then swapping this leather over to this piece and then cutting right here out and then we're going to be able to fit this speaker cover and then have the cinnamon colored interior and then just put that piece back into the door panel with the sunshade bolt it all back up and then mount it back in the car so here we go In case you didn't catch it in the in that b-roll clip the best method I found for doing it is to from the back side apply a little bit of heat in a section not enough to melt this plastic but enough to get it pretty hot and then flip it over and then just really gently peel the leather off and the reason for doing that is it'll allow the foam to stay intact to the leather piece because on that door panel on that side in the last video i kind of made the mistake of not really being patient enough and pulling the leather off too quick and a lot of the foam stuck to this panel and so on that panel on the inside over there you can't really tell unless you like rub your hand across it but it's sort of bulgy and so if you just take your time and you apply a little bit of heat like section at a time section at a time and just really slowly pull the leather off you can get it off without almost any of the foam coming off at all. And so now at this point, I'm gonna take that leather and I'm gonna glue it onto this panel piece and then glue around the sides and let it sit till it dries. And then we'll be able to pop this panel piece back into the original door panel with the sunshade and then reinstall it in the car. Alrighty, so once you have the leather stripped off of the both of the panels actually the leather since it's been sitting on this panel for so long it's already kind of indented to the shape like it's already sort of conformed to the shape of this piece so when you take it all off it's pretty easy just to mount it back onto this piece because you could just shove the corner of this panel into the leather and then lay the rest of it across but once you get it all on there you can glue around the sides like I did and just use some clamps to hold it all down until it dries and once it dries you can install it back into the door panel and I'll show you how to secure it back on there and then we'll mount it back in the car alrighty so now that this leather is finished to drying to this panel piece right here we can go ahead and reattach it to the door panel itself now there's probably quite a few different methods in which you could do this but the way that I found works the best for me is I bought these number eight half inch sheet metal screws as well as these number eight washers and the reason I got these ones is because they're pretty shallow and if you look right here all of these little nubs which were the plastic rivets through the door panel some of them are like really short some of them are like not very, like that one's pretty long. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Not so much, but you get the idea. So basically I got these because if you got anything longer than that, you'd literally punch a hole through this panel and then you'd be able to see the screw on the other side. So just grab something short, something easy and something not too thick. I actually brought this panel piece to my local hardware store so I could figure out which screws would not completely destroy those holes when you screwed them in so that's what i found works perfect we're gonna go ahead and throw this back on the main door panel and we'll catch you on the other side few sheet metal screws and some washers we could officially call this door panel wrapped up and ready for install so tomorrow we'll toss this in finish up the front door panel and officially call all four cinnamon colored door panel swap complete 
All right, so it's officially the next day. I uh, ran out of sunlight yesterday. That's why I finished putting the door panel together in my room. But we're gonna really quickly just throw the rear door panel in now that it's all finished up. Swap in the front one real quick and I'll show you guys when it's all put together. So it's about 20 minutes later and at this point I have both the rear door panel as well as, well as the front door panel officially installed. And as you can see, check this out. Unlike my other side, I'm, I was able to keep this rear sunshade. This is what I was telling you guys about. Just a cool little feature that came with my car and I wish I had thought of this when I replaced that side over there that no longer has the sunshade unfortunately anyways the door panel swap is officially done next on the agenda is laying somewhere over here in this pile i have seats i have um a whole dashboard down here i have uh extended leather glove box i gotta install so lots of fun things coming still still trying to figure it out and figure out what works best with my time but for now we're gonna call this project done. And we're gonna focus on whatever's coming next. So with that, if you enjoyed this video or if hopefully anything I told you gave you some tips and tricks on how you could do your uh, F10 door panel swap if you get different colors or you just even need to remove the door panel. Hopefully this video helped. If it, if it did, leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing if it's something you're into and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.